Hey, welcome to the Daily Race. So glad to have you here today as we are just continuing our study and and now we're following the, the life of David. We've been following him for a little bit here and, and how God is raising him up, how God is preparing him for the future. And honestly, it's through some very difficult times. <laughs> he's he's uh, Yesterday we talked about how uh, Jonathan warned him. He, he's got to get out of there. His dad's anger, Saul's anger is, is, is out of control. Uh, he's jealous of David. He wants to kill David. So David is on the run. And uh, I think it's just a great reminder of, of, of setbacks in life. That it's usually not just a straight line between where you're at and your final destination. And there's all types of ups and downs and starts and stops and sideways paths and detours along the way. And you know any of those things can be frustrating. Any of those things could, could cause us to doubt, God, is this really the plan you have for me? Are you still, are you still here? Um, and that was definitely, uh, I would imagine, popped in David's mind a couple times as he is fleeing for his life. Uh, but here's the thing <laughs> that God often does when we're in, our, in our, our lowest moments, in our detours of life, uh, in those, those pause seasons, as he sends some people along to encourage us. That, that even though we might feel alone, uh, we're, we're never alone. And uh, today we're looking at just kind of the, this whole season here where, where David is, is running from Saul, chapters 21 through, through 23. And uh, the part that really jumped out to me was, was here in, in chapter 22. It says this in verse 1. So David left Gath and escaped to the cave of uh, Adullam. Soon his brothers and all his other relatives joined him there. Then others began coming, men who were in trouble or in debt or who were just disconnected until David was the captain of about 400 men. Uh, God brought people to David to support him, for him to lead, uh, for him to, uh, to, to do good works. And we see throughout this where he defends people. He helps people out with this, this group of, well, undesirables. Uh, the, the people that, that God brought David <laughs> were other people that were, uh, wouldn't necessarily be the, the, uh, the top people you'd pick in, in a game of, of, of choosing the warriors right? Like if you had some competition, like these are the guys that, that failed out early. These are the guys that had disqualified themselves. Uh, but God was bringing them together for a purpose under David's leadership, uh, giving him an opportunity to, to lead a group of men, preparing him, sharpening him for leading not just 400 men for, in the future, but a nation in the future. And giving these, these men a second chance. Once again, it's showing that God, God will use whoever he chooses to use. That God is the God of restoration. God is the God of redemption. Uh, as we see some of these comments here, David holds these men to a high standard. Just because they had a past doesn't mean that he, he lowers his expectations of them. Just because they have been disconnected, just because they have done things in their past that have disqualified them from other use, doesn't mean that David expects less of them. He expects them to be after God's own heart as he is. He expects them to follow God's commands as he do. They're not perfect. David's not perfect, but they're, they're choosing to honor God first and foremost above that, but they're doing it together. And here's my encouragement to you here today. Do you have a team around you? It doesn't matter if it's, if it's the, the A-list team. Uh, we wouldn't count our friends that way, but whoever God has brought into your, into your sphere of influence, who are you leading? Who are you guiding? Maybe it's employees at work. Maybe it's a group in the neighborhood. Uh, maybe it's a ministry team that, that you're a part of. Who has God brought into your sphere of influence? How do you love them well? How do you lead them well? And remember how they support you as well. All right, let, let's go ahead and pause there for today. And let's continue, uh, continue our study in, uh, of the life of David tomorrow. But for right now, let's open up today with the word of prayer. Lord, we love you and we thank you so much just for uh, just this example. God, how you bring people into our life. God, no matter what we're going through, uh, no matter how scary, no matter how lonely it might feel, God, we know that we are created to be in relationships. So God, help us to not reject the people that you send our way. Help us not to um, push off relationships when we're in times of need, but God, uh, embrace the people that you bring our way. Embrace relationships uh, around us. God, whether those are people that are supporting us or that we get to support them uh, and, and find purpose in, in the midst of, of struggle. God, just help us to discern that and just realize that you've created us to be in relationships. 
God, we thank you for creating us that way, that you know best how we operate, how to live this life. God, we honor you and we thank you as we step into today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. All right, well, hey, I hope you have a great, great rest of the day. I look forward to seeing you 24 hours from now right back here on The Daily Race. Love you guys.